Welcome back to Pure Blood Wolf Brothers. I'm Steve. And I'm Bobby. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and share below. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're having a great day. We have a very uh, interesting little topic to discuss today. It's not that interesting. It's it's pretty nasty. And it's interesting when you consider what they did away with and what they're that bringing part. in. Yeah, but... It's still gross. (laughs) For those of you who do not know us, uh, Bobby and I are, our hometown is Milwaukee. Yep. Uh, We are Bucks fans, Brewer fans. Okay. The local stuff, right? I personally have been watching Bucks basketball from the time I was like six years old. Loved it, right? Last night, uh, (laughs) so sad. They did away a while back, I think it was either this year or last year, of their all-female dance team, okay, that they had had there for a long time. Um, Because the reasoning was that it was too offensive to families, okay? Um, Crazy, okay? Cheerleading, dance, pom-poms, whatever. Always seems to go hand in hand with sports. But because they took the stance and it's offensive to, or family offensive, they decided to have a pride night last night against the Denver Nuggets. And well, yeah. You want to just show the clip, Bob? I'll, I'll show the clip. enough of that we don't need to we don't need to show that there was there was something else of that video wasn't there uh well which part they had a bunch of fat trans yeah show that too uh that's not in this video um let me see if i can find it okay it's 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 crazy that you know women dancing natural women are offensive but then you got these imitation, horrible versions of women that aren't really women. Pretending to be women because they aren't happy they dress being up men. Like it. Yeah. That they had something in their past that they couldn't get rid of. <laughs> oh, man. Take that how you want it. Uh, let's see. I think I found something here. Oh, yeah. Ugh. All right, I'm going to pull this up. That's pretty gross, too. Yeah, that was there. What? That. Is the circus in town? It, it literally is the circus. Because I think at one point in this video, it's circus music. Yep, see, here you go. They know that they're a circus. What is the purpose of this? I don't know, man. That's enough of that, though. That's disgusting. And I wouldn't take my kids to that. If I had I, young kids, I wouldn't either. Nope. I definitely wouldn't. If I knew that was going on, I definitely wouldn't. Now, I'm sure the Bucks and the NBA, they would say that, well, that is where we're going to stand. That's It's everybody's own individual right to either participate or not. Like, join them at a game or whatever. I, I I don't care. Problem is, though, how can you do away with the female dance team? Right. Because that's family-orientated mm-hmm. or offensive. Sorry, family offensive. But yet, this garbage is and it's, family-appropriate. Yeah. 
And it's not like, you know, the, the female dance team, they didn't wear any offensive outfits. You know, that was, that's probably more offensive than anything they wore. The female dance team. Hey, I remember they were good and it wasn't you were, now granted. Yes, they were good looking girls, but they were a good in sync type of group to watch. It took skill to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a, I, that's, I just, a, that's a sport. I'll agree that that's a sport. This this garbage that was at that game yesterday. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, but it there was no kind of sense to it. No, and I wonder if the Bucks could get sued if one of those guys' balls popped out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that with Janet Jackson and um, Timberlake? Oh yeah, the nip slip wardrobe, the wardrobe malfunction. The wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, man. that was a long time ago. I, I I saw that. I was watching that game at home yesterday, and when that halftime show came on, oh my god! Mm-hmm. I just mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's amazing where we ended up as a world. What, what what's going on with this? I I just. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. It's, it's gross. 20 20 years ago, you'd be laughed at if if you were thinking that that was going to be performed at a halftime show. Not even 20 years ago. Go back. 10? I was going to say eight, but yeah, 10. I don't know where, how we got here. I really don't. We became very weak as a country. Weak as a country. Uh, Men are becoming little girls. Little Dude. girls think that they're men. Okay, put yourself in Putin's shoes right now. Say he's a Bucks fan, and he sees this at halftime. <laughs> there ain't no doubt. He's like, ah, I can take him. <laughs> he's he's suiting up the Russian team right now to come on right. over and uh, exactly. He don't take even the title. need. He don't even need suits to just come over. Oh man, this makes us look horrible. I'm embarrassed well, for Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, yeah, I am. I, you know, here, here's a question, and I'm sure the the players they're gonna play their whole PC card and whatever. Well, here's your do script. do as the no. company tells right. them. Okay, fine, I get it. But look at uh, what was that in hockey? Uh, there was a player that came out that didn't even want to wear the pride right. thing, right? Because he was taking a stance. Mm-hmm. This stuff is going to go on and on and on and on. Corporate America's rolling the dice and, hey, everybody's being real nice and weak. They're not going to say anything. Yep. People push back. Enough is enough of this garbage. Yep. If you got season I don't, tickets, return them or give them to me. Whatever. I work with a guy that told me about this yesterday, that this mm-hmm. was going on. And he says, I'll never go to another Bucks game again. Right. Yeah, they they lose real fans. Yeah. For, you you can't tell me that a lot. It's going to be stereotypical, but you're going to tell me that a lot of the people in the audience were actual Bucks fans. No, they were there for the Pride Night, you know. Well, and the <laughs> celebration. It will be real. That's well, what it is. Okay, it was at halftime, so a lot of the fans were actually up and away from the, the <laughs> <Yeah>. floor. <laughs> So they they did this for the, they were, the they were going there. to get, <laughs> going, going to enjoy to it. Their, they were going to get their seven dollar hot dog, you know. <laughs> oh man, he went there when they could have just seen hot dogs on the on the floor for free. Man, I don't know if those are hot dogs or rhinos rolling around on the floor in clown suits. It's disgusting, man. Those are some big boys. Could you imagine not knowing that it was this Pride Night event and then going to a Bucks game? Like with I don't family? think I'd ever go to another game. No, definitely not. And don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy basketball. I'll, I'll, I'll still watch the I games. Thought you were, I thought you were going to say, don't get me wrong. I enjoy drag shows. Mm, really? For as long <laughs> as you've known me? Oh, man. Do you really think I would say that? Well, no. But it sounded like you were being sympathetic. <sighs> It's cool though. It's cool. Though. Uh, are you trying to tell me that I have empathy for the transgender uh, circus? The literal circus. 
Look, I don't care what they do. If they want to do that, that's fine. But right. to have it thrown out there as kind of like a replacement for something that was actually good. Yeah. But it, it's that stupid. got deemed defensive. Yeah. You know? And that that's the biggest, that's the whole big deal here. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you want to put on a, a freak show at halftime, fine. Go do it. Right. But well, why are you going to put something out there that many people would actually deem family offensive versus what she did have in your your female dance team? I mean, really? What kind of stance is that? And A what kind one. of world are we moving in? A weak one to both questions. It's insane. It's pretty nasty. I don't know. But yeah, that's that. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that down below. You know, and if you have an opinion, even if it's a bad one, let us know. We want to hear it. (laughs) Have a good night.